So there I am earlier in the week, DC. And I have to say, one thing that kind of grinds my gears, I love boxing. You know, I love boxing. I've been watching boxing long before I watched MMA. I mean, I grew up in Montreal, which is one of the all-time great fight towns. This was a guy named Davey Hilton and Stefan Ouellette, the Otis and uh, Otis Grant and Howard Grant, the Grant brothers. I mean, boxing in Montreal is, 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 is legendary stuff. And so I love boxing. And, and one thing that grinds my gears is I find that the, 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 the boxing community, sometimes they get a little sanctimonious, you know, they get a little bit like high on their, uh, on their britches and they're like, Oh, you know, this is good. This is not good. Oh, we talk about belts. We talk about commission and all week long, they're comparing, they're complaining about this Tyson Jones fight all week long. They're complaining about the rules. They're complaining about this. These same people, DC four months ago, when this fight was announced, were saying, 250 year old guys should not be fighting. Oh, they're going to ruin their legacy. It's not safe. What kind of commission would sanction this thing? Mm -mm. Fight week. And by the way, the rules have been out for months. They somehow stumble upon the fact that, oh, wait, two minute rounds, eight <laughs> rounds, 12 ounce gloves, no, no knockouts. Like, oh, what's going on here? And they're creating this whole big stink all week long, <laughs> not enjoying the event. And guess what? It turned out to be one of the most fun events of 2020. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., <laughs> Staples Center, Mora Ranallo, Israel Desanya, Snoop Dogg on the call. That was fun. In the end, it ended in a draw. Probably my least favorite part of the night was the fact that it ended in a draw because, of course, we all know that Tyson won. But come on, you have to admit, you A, love that, and B, Mike Tyson exceeded expectations. It wasn't embarrassing. It didn't hurt his legacy. In fact, it probably helped his legacy. At 54, we saw vintage Mike throwing hooks with power and ferocity. It was fun. It's okay to have fun, boxing community. It's okay to have fun. You know what's so crazy about boxing is, like, I love boxing. Like, I, I've, I've said stories time and time again about growing up watching in Louisiana. But people start to worry. Boxing is dead. Boxing is dead. But when the world starts to pay attention, right, and pay attention when it's not just Canelo or it's not just Floyd, people are paying attention for, for Mike and Roy, even though it may not have been um, at the highest level, it's still everybody was paying attention on boxing. And now you want to become uh, uh, peeved and, and everybody's up in an uproar when the reality is, and I said this on my Instagram the other day, which got hundreds of thousands of views. I was like, hey, if someone told me, Daniel, you can go to Tyson Ranch, you're going to watch Roy Jones and Mike Tyson spar. All you got to do is pay 50 bucks. I'm like, hey, take my 50 bucks. I'm going. Spar with headgear, right? I with mean, headgear. Watch. With headgear. Yeah. They can yeah. wear shin pads. They can wear elbow pads. We just need to make sure these guys are protected. I would have went and watched those guys spar. Me too. So for it to be happening, again, honestly, I was worried. I was worried, oh, man. You know, Mike's gonna try to hurt him, and 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 you know, Roy Jones might not be able to do this. And how are they gonna control him? Because the last Mike we saw, he's you know, he was a madman and quit on the stool from biting. All these other things we had saw told us that Mike Tyson would lose his mind out there this weekend, but he didn't. But he didn't. He fought well, and Roy Jones fought good in at times. Mike Tyson was much more prepared for this fight than Roy Jones was. Amen. Is that safe to say? Yes. Mike was much more prepared for than Roy, right? Yes. He was in shape. Yes. He was doing these rounds like nothing. He was doing the two-minute rounds and going he back to the corner. He could have gone three-minute rounds. Right, couldn't. He could have fought 12 minutes. He could have yeah. fought 12 rounds. Mm -hmm. Mike Tyson looked like at 55 years old, he could have fought 12 three-minute rounds, maybe not with the ferocity that he had back in the 90s, but still. And he looked good. His punches looked good. Combinations looked good. And at times, we saw vintage Roy Jones. One time, Roy Jones threw a jab. Boom. Pop Mike Tyson, right? Step with the left foot in front. Like, you know, my, Roy Jones always was a guy that could cross his feet. Something you're told not to do in boxing. Roy hit him with the jab, boom, left foot cross, came back, step pivot, turned back to the center, and he was like, wow. I remember watching Roy Jones do this in his heyday where he would pop you with the jab, move, 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 circle back to the center, and you're chasing. Mike was chasing him. I remember watching Mike Tyson. Did, I mean, Mike Tyson's head movement looked great. I mean, Amazing. dude, that was crazy. The way he was, like, seeing the punches and slipping, mind you, he, he he partied himself a little bit before he left the locker room. Like, he's just, it's crazy that he was, these guys were able to do this. Bro, it was fantastic. I loved every single part of it. I didn't like the draw. I mean, Mike won and give it to him, but he was fine with it. And they had it these three like old, you know, they had Christy Martin and, and Chad well, Dawson. I was watching, dude, Pazienza. Vinny Pazienza scored yeah, a fight. They were showing his card. I was like, what is Vinny Paz doing? What is Vinny Paz watching? But DC... When Mike Tyson fought Kevin McBride in 2005 in, in Washington, D.C., the Mike Tyson who fought on Saturday beats that Mike Tyson from the 15 years ago. 55 year old Mike yes. Tyson today. 54, to exact. Yes. Leave that Kevin McBride from yes. 2005, age that he was at that moment, and put him in with the 55 year old Mike Tyson from last weekend. 
that Mike Tyson would beat Kevin McBride. It it, it, it it felt like a big event. It looked like pride. It, the ring it, was the ring was all white. The lighting was great. Tyson was ready. And so the question is like, does Mike Tyson have something here with this? No, 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 no. Listen, what? listen, listen. I don't want to see Mike fighting. I want to see Mike continuing to do these exhibitions. I, I would I would tune in every time to watch him go at it like this. Um, not all the time, but like once, maybe a couple times a year for a year or two. Be but fine. for how long? Two years. Does Back this two work, years? But does this work like we saw him? He if ended he, on a high if he note. Does this three times. If he does this three times, I would watch three times. I'm actually surprised you said three. If I if he does this three times, I would watch him three times. With a Roy Jones. Uh, Let's like see. You want to see him fight a Holyfield? If him and Evander start, could you could you imagine? That would be great to watch him and Evander kind of put on a sparring match. Like those are the things I would like to. I would like to see it. It would feel big, especially if we can watch Mike Tyson and Evander go out there spar eight rounds, then come together at the end. I know that the bad blood is kind of like drifted yeah. away between the two, but to see them in a combative environment and then still be okay, I would love to see that, man. I think. I think there's value in that. I think there's value in a lot of these. I think, two, yeah, two or three times I can watch him do it. It's, it's funny because as much as I enjoyed it, and especially watching him, and, you know, we talk so much in combat sports about the depressing end, right? More often than not, it ends in a depressing way. So it was nice to see him kind of go out on his own terms. I would actually be okay if he never fought again, if this mm -hmm. was it, if this was the, the lasting image that we see of Mike Tyson in, in the ring. Because, DC, people almost forget – Mike Tyson, I was watching an interview with Mike Tyson and Howard Stern yesterday from 2013. Mike Tyson in that interview said he was broke, said he had no money seven years ago. Mike Tyson is far from broke right now. And a lot of credit actually goes to his wife. Um, I believe her name is Kiki, who, who really turned him around from a health standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from a business standpoint. He's got this Tyson Ranch. He's got a podcast. He's got all this stuff, this League of Legends thing. Like he is a success story now later in life when it looked like he was going down the path of so many other boxers who are left with nothing, who are, you know, in a depressing state and all this stuff, Tyson has really turned things around. He's and so man. I'm okay if this was it. And now he launches this new league. Now the question to me is, okay, is there, is there a future for a league like this? Cause remember Vitor Belfort has been trying to do something like this and other fighters, and maybe even you, maybe even you come out of retirement at some point. <laughs> is there an interest in a league of legends for combat sports where but, the old timers fight, or is that just a little weird? Cause we're talking about combat sports, but I only believe that it works if they're, it works when it's like what Mike and Roy did where they fought hard, but nobody was getting knocked out. Right? Like you saw him landing hard. Punches Mike was trying him. to knock him out. I think, I think Mike was hitting him hard, harder to the body than in the head. I think he was hitting him hard, but harder to the body than he was in the head, which that to me was like crazy because like, when, when did you ever think that Mike Tyson would have control in sparring? Like, he seemed like, he, you, I know you put something there, like, you think Mike Tyson was going easy on Roy Jones? Bro, he wasn't. He, he wasn't, bro, he wasn't going easy, but he was not trying to kill him. He was fighting with control. It looked like when me and Cain Velasquez or somebody would spar in the gym. If Habib is sparring with Islam Makachev, he punches him hard, but he's not trying to knock him out. <laughs> Wouldn't you say it was like a, a step above that? Like, he was trying no, to win that fight. I feel like that's really? what it was. Really? I feel like he, to the body, he was hitting him really hard. And yeah. again, that's another thing. If when, when they're hitting to the body, we hit hard, but to the head, it's like you're hitting and you're hitting fairly hard, but you're not gonna like really knock nobody out. That's why you don't see us getting our guys getting knocked out in the gym because we're never really just sitting out. I remember there was a time when AKA was knocking everyone out over there. We but... weren't getting knocked out though, we were just getting hurt training yeah, yeah. too hard. Right. We weren't getting like knocked out cold and nobody was going to sleep inside the gym in the sparring room. So it, I, I felt that's what it was. So I know you got on people for saying Mike Tyson wasn't going easy. Mike Tyson was fighting with control. I think he was hitting him to the body really hard. It looked like he hurt him bad in like the sixth, seventh round. But it, it, up to the head, he was hitting him hard, but not at 100%.